Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, I want to do another quick update. We'll see if it's actually quick. I keep saying that, and it keeps on not being quick. So, um, I got the floor at my parents' house framed in and sheeted with subfloor, and then today I was able to put up one of the walls. Well, I put up the exterior, one of the exterior walls. That's what I hate about new construction. I love new construction because you just put it up. It's quick. And uh, this, a tree went through in the middle of a single wide mobile home. So you can imagine an old, this thing was probably built in the 60s, 70s. You can imagine how old it is and having to tear through all that to get back to something sound, sound, uh, sound of wood that's not busted up and then having to start from there. And so I'm having to hit, uh, I'm land up hitting a lot of challenges as I'm going. Getting the floor done was, a, was pretty awesome. I'm glad, I hate going underneath that place. I, I'm gonna have to go underneath one more time just to go lag bolt the, the joists to the two I-beam frames. <clears throat> but that, that should be quick and easy. Um, what else? So I got the in, the in it land up, the tree land up hitting part of one of the interior walls. I was able to frame in that interior wall today and have that buttoned up. And then I started on, I was hoping on having the exterior wall done and or framed and sheeted. I was thinking of, I had high intentions to have the windows put in and then I thought maybe I should wait to put the windows in until after I have the roof on and all that major construction's done. But I didn't even get that far. I just got to the studs, the main studs, and I got the king frames in, or the king studs in, and I wasn't able to put in the, the cripples and the, the sill and whatnot and have the, the actual windows done. Or, and I didn't get it sheeted, but it's getting there. My only, I'm only dreading having to uh, try to tie because it, it's two by three walls the exterior walls on, on on old mobiles I don't know how they are now but on old mobiles are two by three and I two by six you're just sucking up so much space if you want to go plus not everything else is gonna be two by six so I end up just putting on two by fours just so I can be able to uh, insulate it semi correctly so it's a pain in the butt I'm gonna have to somehow tie it all together to where it all seals up and there's no leaks and nothing. So we'll see. Uh, it's been seven complete days since the, the tree has fell down, so a lot of work has gotten done. Got the tree out, the tree's cut up, the rounds are stacked in the back, the house has been picked up for the, you know, for the most part. Actually, it's the most picked up I've ever seen. Uh, the floor's done for the most part and then the walls are being put up so it's going pretty fast but it's also sucking up a lot of my finances so I had to take out a thousand dollar cash advance on my credit card today so instead of being twenty five hundred dollars left in debt now I'm up to thirty five hundred dollars and we'll see how that goes it's important to me to get this house uh, weather, weather tight before it starts raining luckily it's been nice out here in Washington State but the rain could come anytime. It could come anytime. So that's why I'm trying to get this going. Anyway, so yeah, $3,500 left now. Um, we'll see what happens. I might have to pull another $1,000 before the next paycheck. I'm hoping not. I'm gonna Once I get this done, I'm definitely going to start looking at stuff to sell. Because I need to get back on track. But anyways, I wanted to... That's my update. Uh, I wanted to also show you guys... Just kind of on a lighter note, I wanted to show some of the things I do and enjoy. And so I like growing things, of course. So I got a, this is a rubber tree, which this thing has struggled. I had it next to a fireplace one time, it, it burnt. Or maybe that was this one. No, this one got burnt. And so this one was struggling to grow, but finally, it wasn't growing too well indoors and it's been sunny out so I brought it outside and it's been loving it. So this thing's probably grown a good six 
seven inches this summer. I got some fruit trees. I'm not sure what kind of fruit. I think some apple, some plum. I don't know. They're at a house that had a bunch of shoots coming out of the ground next to the tree. So I just dug them up and they're freaking loving it. Uh, I'm not sure what this is. I, this might be what they call a bleeding heart. I'm not sure. My dad gave it to me, so I don't know. This guy, I don't know. I need to put him in a bigger pot. Cro Crocoshmia? I don't know what that is. Potato plant that probably should have a couple of stacks on top of it so there's more room for it to grow, but I just haven't gone around to that. Cool little flower. I don't know what it's called, but I picked that up at the store, and it's been looking great since. I've been, I used a lot of my compost uh, dirt which had a ton of tomatoes decomposing in it from a few years ago when I had tomatoes growing in the garden and I was out of, out of state and all the tomatoes lined up getting tossed into the compost. Well, they love compost dirt because every single one of my pots I repotted with, with the compost dirt had amazing tomatoes growing out of it from seeds. It, it, I've been pulling them out like weeds. It's been. I wish I had a garden set up so I could just put them in there, because I feel like it's wasteful. Oh well. And then I have a bunch. I just water these. They. I've been so busy lately. I haven't been able to water these a whole lot. But I just got a bunch of mint. I think well, we got thyme, lavender. Don't know. <laughs> They're on tags. I. I could look down, but oh, that's lavender too. Oh yeah. Some more mint. They, these guys have been doing well, but lately they've been getting eaten by something. I gotta figure out. I got some more mint. Uh, rosemary, I believe. And then this guy. This guy's grown so much. This thing is called a Citronella mosquito plant. So it smells like mosquito repellent, which is pretty awesome. And apparently it's supposed to repel mosquitoes. And I have that sitting in a cedar uh, planter that I made several years ago. I didn't finish it. Not I didn't put like a stain on it or anything or any kind of protectant. Probably could use that, but it's been holding up well. And then here, let's see, these guys I love, I've been doing this for a couple of years now, <clears throat> it's just concrete pots. So I, I, may, I get molds or I make molds or just use uh, containers from around the house, like I think this is a container from a coffee creamer. And then the inside is like a small juice box, like a, a milk or a orange juice thing from McDonald's. <clears throat> this is just two, uh, two stainless steel bowls, mixing bowls. So you have a bigger one on, on the outside, it's a little one in the middle, or inside. And this is just uh, some mold pot stuff that I found on a container store website. Those turn out really cool. So these two are my favorite. These guys, and then those guys. Another stainless steel pot, stainless steel bowl pot, bigger one. This one I made out of a couple of paint buckets that I picked up at Lowe's or Home Depot, one of those. Some more of these star ones. <clears throat> Another uh, container from like a, it's either a juice container or maybe, uh, this might actually still be a coffee creamer container. This is definitely a juice container. This is, you, you can stick like tea light candles in there. This is like a milk carton with like a juice container inside of it. Another bowl 
this has got to be a one of the the uglier uh, coffee creamer containers, but I don't know. I think it still looks cool. Then I started experimenting one year with uh, the paints. This one didn't turn out too well, but this one looks really cool. They're just uh, it's a rust-oleum stone paint. This one's okay. I, 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 people will probably like that, but I don't like that color. And this one's really cool. I used, I bought a, this thing's going to be heavy. I don't know if I can do it with one hand. So I bought a, it's a trick-or-treat pail from Walmart for the outside. And then, and then just a paint container for the inside. So yeah, that's what I like to do on my free time when I'm not having to rebuild houses. I was hoping to do a lot more here lately and it's kind of been uh put on hold but also on a brighter note that's a pretty pretty awesome view not bad for a rental property and let's see if i get it it's just left of that tree right here so about right here if it wasn't so cloudy you could see mount rainier Man, if those power lines are not there, this view would be so much better. I need to get to these bushes over here too. I, beginning of spring, I cut them down to get a better view and then they grew. That's all bamboo. And it's a pain in the butt. That stuff is hard to keep under control. But yeah, it's my jungle of a yard. I, haven't, I tried killing off everything this year and because it just gets too crazy. So yeah. That's uh, all that I have for today. It wasn't a quick update, was it? 12 minutes into it. All right. See you guys.